say my greatest achievement is probably getting married. Since, you know, I think it's easy to make someone like you. That's why people have affairs, isn't it? It's easy to look attractive once a fortnight in a hotel. <laughs> Are you having an affair, John? Because <laughs> that was a very specific notion of how affairs might work. And also, if you were to have an affair, I would imagine it would be quite tightly scheduled. Oh, well, you've got to have a schedule if you're having an affair. <laughs> You can't just have an affair willy-nilly, can you? You can't just say, oh, I'll, I'll maybe pop round and do you in a bit. <laughs> or I'll do you at the greengrocers. You have to book a room. By the way, do you? <laughs> don't, don't, do, don't do those words. Do one. <laughs> do it. Do it. It. I'll pop over and we'll do it in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, I've married one person. There's not going to be another one going to let me... You know, is there? I yeah. wouldn't have thought so, no. I mean, my wife hasn't yet, but I'm told. <laughs> Alan, I believe you, uh, you became a married man this year. Yes, I got married. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you want to hear all the details? I want all the details. Okay. I made a oh question to right God. Now. Well, listen, he asked me to marry him in Lombok. Where's Lombok? It's in Indonesia. You know, homosexuality is illegal over there. Wow. So he got down on his knees and said, will you marry me? And I said, how dare you? I've never been so insulted. Slapped him. <laughs> I like the fact you said got down on his knees. Not one knee. Oh, he's a dirty <laughs> son. He's a dirty <laughs> son. Nice. Yeah, if long box are rocking, don't come and knock him. <laughs> anyway. <yeah. laughs> and listen, you don't want a gay marriage in Indonesia because the confetti's rocks. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But the thing is, you know, like... I just expected people to be pleased for me because I don't, have you, you've seen Paul and he's nice looking. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, what a catch. And you done well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you're punching above your weight, Alan. As if I've come down my lair, you know, from the bell tower, stroking his face. You're mine tonight. <laughs> John, do you have any habits that annoy your wife? Well, <laughs> she told me once she wanted me to lose myself at a festival. And I don't know if she means let rip and have some fun or just go missing. <laughs> Probably the second one. But I think she wishes I'd let loose a bit more and not be so uptight. But when you're having a conversation with your wife about the things you do that might mean she divorces you one day, it's very difficult to let loose and relax. <laughs> Especially when you're writing them down. And John's teammate, an actual real-life wife, it's Lucy Beaumont! <laughs> Lucy is married to John, which means, <laughs> unbelievably, she's actually said the words, Come here, John Richardson, I want to rip that cardigan off you. <laughs> I like that. He usually leaves it on. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like his tummy, do you? So he says, can I leave, leave it on? He doesn't like his tummy? No. Well, and he eats a lot of very fermented food as well, so <laughs> he gets a bit gassy, so... It's just... Yeah. Sort of like a cross between sex and a one-man band. <laughs> <laughs> Right, John, Lucy, we're all two metres apart because of COVID restrictions. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you're, you're a married couple, you're in a bubble together, so you <laughs> don't need to be this far apart, you could be much closer. Uh, since the wedding night, we've been two metres apart. <laughs> yeah. in. Nothing's really changed for us. I mean, we sleep in separate rooms, so this is actually close. This is uncomfortably close. <laughs> is it true you set up Lucy and John? Yes. Or was it a blind date? Did they know no, each other before? Tell a, me everything. John had a New Year's Eve gathering and I was saying that I'd met his wife. I've met the woman you're going to marry and the John was saying, you're mad, you're a mad person. But I was very adamant. And then, to prove, to show willing to me that he wasn't being, shutting me down, he saved Lucy's number as my future wife in his phone. Okay. And then, what happened on your first date? We swapped numbers, I gave you my number, you rang it. We were in my car, the whole car lit up, and the words, my future wife, came up on the dashboard. <laughs> wow. That's like, if you marry your stalker, that's what would happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I do it, they get out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you got married recently. Has, has life changed? Um, well, I'm sleeping with less strange men. <laughs> <laughs> There is still one that I have to sleep with. <laughs> what, is your, uh, what does your husband do? <laughs> I thought this might come up. <laughs> he, well, one of the things... He does a lot of things, but one of the things he does is he is a world champion competitive air guitarist. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, just say long-term unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> is, 
make, make birthdays and Christmas easy for gifts. Just get my brand new air guitar. Yes. <laughs> my mother did that. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, he's got loads of them. <laughs> uh, Roisin, Joe, you play a couple in the sitcom Afterlife. Yes. How do you think you'd get on in real life as a couple? <laughs> um... We wouldn't leave the house much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> we both love telly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've been writing children's books recently. Right. I read a lot of books with my daughter. I just found they don't prepare them for life. You know, a lot of them about, like, farmyard animals and princesses and stuff. So this one's a bit of a reality check, really. Oh, great. For young people. It's called um, Michelle and Her Frog. Can we hear a little bit? Yeah. It's um, about a lady called Michelle. She's going through the menopause and she's from Doncaster. <laughs> 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 Michelle lives with her teenage son, Larry, and her husband. Her husband doesn't need a name. He hasn't had an interesting thing to say for 23 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucy, do you mind me asking, when did he last buy you flowers? Oh, gosh, it, I can't remember. It must have been a really long time ago. I can't remember what you'd done wrong. <laughs> it was at the start of lockdown when I went to the supermarket. <laughs> Are you Manchester-based, or do you <laughs> come up <laughs> 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 Lucy, I mean, he's in the room. <laughs> Your husband's right next Sorry. to you. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just curious. I don't mind, I'll watch. One was for you. Thank you. Uh, Rasheen, what's your six? Answer. Answer, Answer. OK. Uh, Lucy, what's your six? A strain, like the strain on the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> if we're all going to have something to eat, can I bring out uh, the top tier of my wedding cake? Sure. Yeah. I'd love you to see it. Top oh, tier of your okay. wedding cake? I bought it along. It was really special. It was really nice. It's like, um... <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, which one are you? <laughs> 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 was, was that the top of your kit? Yeah, yeah, do you want a bit? No, it wasn't. Bite the gimp mask. <laughs> Bite it. Someone in my ear has just said, I don't know if that's definitely edible, but we, the only way really to test it is <laughs> using well, you. Well, I know, When I'm dead... And my kids watching an advert going, did your parents have an accident at work? <laughs> <laughs> Is it edible? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'll have it back. I'll yeah, have it back. yeah, yeah. All right, Alan. Thanks for your wedding kit. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to recently? I went to a wedding a few weeks ago, right. which was nice, but right. It was weird because I'd slept with three of the men there. <laughs> and it was a small wedding, it was mainly family. And, um... <laughs> I was like, this is mad, though. Like, what an achievement I should tell somebody. Um, and so I was quite drunk and I text my husband. Um, but I got my tenses wrong because I was drunk. And so I just said, I've slept with three men at this wedding! Exclamation mark, phone died. <laughs> um, if you could go back in time, where would you go? I think I'd go back to like a minute before I met my wife. <laughs> 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 I'd wet myself so that she wouldn't want to talk to me. <laughs> and then a lot of pain and misery would have been <laughs> saved from her. <laughs> no, of course, I'm only joking. Um, it's a comedy show, isn't it? <laughs> John is a writer, comedian, football fanatic, but perhaps the most surprising thing about John is that his wife still hasn't smothered him to death in his sleep. <laughs> Separate beds. <laughs> you annoy me. How come, right, at wedding, you can throw rice, but you can't throw a naan bread? <laughs> <laughs> when you say that out loud, it doesn't make any sense at all. Or a bit of your madras. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it annoys me, but they threw me out of the church, but um, <laughs> didn't, didn't bother me, I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs>